Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading. Now, as you know, we're sort of uh, halfway through or third of the way through reading set number four that we're doing where we picked out 32 books to read, right? And we've read some key issues and some issues uh, from that lot that we're just interested in reading. And along the way, I've picked out a, a few comic books, either from my collection or from more recent comic book hauls for us to have a read through, right? And what we're going to do in this comic book reading is have a read through Young Love number 31, okay, from 1952 by Crestwood Publications, Prize Comics, okay? Now, this comic book is from a recent comic book haul that we had. We have uh, someone that's uh, been following um, the work we've been doing here regarding the comic books and some of the other stuff that we've been doing, but specifically regarding the comic books. And uh, they, they love the comic book hauls that we're doing and the comic book readings and the comic book discussions that we're having. So what they ended up doing was sending some funds our way to do another comic book haul. And this book is from that haul. Okay, so a huge thank you to Nicholas for sending the funds over for us to grab the books that we did. And we ended up getting 23 books uh, with those funds, plus a little top up from my end, right? And this is one of the books that we're going to, that we ended up getting, that we're going to read. And what we're going to do is we're going to read two more books from this haul that we had. And this is, uh, it was basically that we've already loaded up the videos, comic book haul number 23 or 24, I believe, comic book haul number 24, right? And we ended up getting two romance comics, okay, in that haul. And this is one of them. And we're going to have a read through this. And the other one is this one right here, which is Love Story, okay? And this one came out in 1950, okay? So in the next comic book haul reading, this is, we're going to read one story from this comic and we're going to flip through the comic as well and the reason i tracked down these books or i ended up putting the bits in to buy these books and we ended up getting an amazing deal on these things right we ended up uh, grabbing the young love for 244 us which is basically 325 canadian and we ended up grabbing life story for a dollar canadian which is basically 75 cents us right amazing deals and as soon as i tell you who's in who's done some of the work in these comics you'll know why they're amazing deals right uh for young love what we're about to read there's a few giants that have done the work for this and crestwood publications prize comics was basically a pioneer for romance comics right and what we're going to do is read a story by jack kirby in this okay the artwork done by jack kirby and for life story the the story that we're going to read is by wally wood right the artwork done by wally wood right so fantastic we got two books from the golden age of comics for basically you know a little bit between three to four dollars us for both of them right combined so I'm just going to put this one aside. We will read through this one and we're going to crack open this one and have a read through it and talk about the comic a little bit. Okay. So let me give you a little bit of history on this, on this book. And what I'm going to do is while we talk about it, I'm going to take it out of the, take it out of the bag. That way you don't get the glare coming off of it okay so let's crack this open for now and then we'll have a little talk about it okay and as before we're going to take the tape put it on the side so it doesn't get snagged right and we're going to pull this out okay put this guy on the side now i ended up grabbing this book for like I said, $2.44 US, $3.25 Canadian, and it's graded very good. It's from 1992, and it's Young Love, 
issue number 31 okay and it came out i believe for valentine's right fantastic nice photo cover with the heart in it right beautiful true romance confessions it says okay and it's got the young love um, little logo there with a young love title on it right now what does it say here's the logo for a prize publications all right now let me tell you what the story is about prize publications and i didn't you know as you know if uh oh, let me just flip this thing that way when we're flipping the book the pages don't snag or get loose now as you know i've uh just recently got into last three years or so three or four years well, four or five years or so that i've started buying more romance comics and uh, i believe we've done at least one romance comic reading hopefully we've done one romance comic reading if not this is going to be our first romance comic reading we've done a fair bit of uh readings comic book readings uh, so if there isn't a romance comic in there this is our first romance comic right and prize comics okay it's also known as crestwood publications okay and the editors the people who put this together is joe simon and jack kirby okay those that's the duo team that really came up with the prize comics uh company sort of the offshoot that was publishing under crestwood publications also known as feature publications okay they're sort of considered to be the people that put out uh, the first ongoing uh, horror comic book a comic book featuring frankenstein and under this prize comics right this company okay they publish black magic uh, fighting american and the first comic book title called romance comic that came out in uh, 1947 right so the first continuing sort of romance comic genre was kicked off by the same people that created this which is joe simon and jack kirby and that was in 1947 with young romance and this is 1952 young love issue number 31 right and young love was the second series that they kicked off through uh because young room um young romance when they started it was a huge hit huge hit right they were selling millions of copies what i found online which i find unbelievable is that um 92 percent this is from wiki i believe 92 percent of their print runs for prize comics was the young romance comics right and they were selling millions of copies of that title and they sort of giving birth to the genre what they had done was on top of it um, they had noted that the romance comics were for adult readers more people who are more uh, mature that aren't you know really into following uh, superhero comics and they want to hear read uh, stories about romance and love and possibly true stories right and let's take a look at this this is graded at very good minus right and the staples are nicely intact okay beautiful uh, a little bit of chipping going on on the cover right a little bit of browning on the edges but otherwise it's beautifully nicely intact a little bit of chipping all right <laughs> look at this we're gonna flip through this and take a look at all of it right awesome 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 right now through crestwood um through prize prize publications there are some giants that worked for joe uh joe simon and jack kirby went through this company okay and this company was only around uh, uh for you know a few years uh crestwood i believe da, 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 let me find uh 
uh, find where I took the notes for this was around price uh, a comics was around from 1940 to 1968 right i have some notes laying around here with for me so we can go through the stuff and hopefully tell you as much as uh, as much as i found out on this or as much as possible right so they were around for about uh, two and a half decades right from 1940 to 1968 and there's a lot of people that worked for this company right dick Ayers, bruno permani uh carmen uh, infantino right will will elder joe severin right these are some of the names that i just wrote down right um mort menskin right there's there's a tremendous number of people that work for this company and in this issue there is five stories right take a look at this produced by simon and kirby right fantastic fantastic and this one this title this is the one that we're going to read actually this is uh, done by jack kirby the pencils the inks and the script we're not 100 percent sure some people say it's jack kirby some places i found was jack kirby some places um it was sort of a question mark it was left blank that we didn't know who it was right and jack kirby is huge right he's he's the king of comics basically he's uh without jack kirby there would be no marvel comics and if there was a marvel comics without jack kirby it wouldn't be the marvel comics that we know of right now right it wouldn't have most likely captain america because jack kirby is credited with creating captain america fantastic for uh the fourth world hulk um the x-men right uh, like just a, a tremendous uh silver surfer galactus basically all uh or most of the great loved characters if from marvel comics and from comics in general were either created uh, solo by jack kirby or collaboration with other creators okay so we're going to read this story which is basically a six page one two three four five six page story by jack kirby be my valentine right and here's some of the advertisements those people love right fat men and women <laughs> so let's read some of this fat men and women who are normally overweight will be amazed to discover this safe pleasant scientific way to lose ugly fat and get a slimmer more attractive figure oh wow medical doctors say chew improve formula kelpendine chewing gum reduce reduce kelp kelp i have never even heard of this right chew gum improve formula kelpendine chewing right chewing gum reduce up to five pounds a week with dr phil reducing plan what I'm surprised this isn't being advertised at present it's fun to reduce with kelpendine chewing gum now i'll be curious to find out uh, what the health implications of this were no drugs no starving no no massage no exercise no steaming no laxatives lose 10 20 30 pounds wow 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 All right. now just imagine a young Jack Kirby drawing a romance comics right with Joe Simon and Joe Simon is credited with this so I'm guessing maybe Joe Simon right is produced by Simon and Kirby so I'm guessing once we start reading it we might get a feel if it's sort of Jack Kirby's writing or Joe Simon's writing right some of you experts out there might have a good feel for it okay wow look at this one now this one the great indoors okay this one uh, is done by george rosos and mart mort menskin okay and just to give you an idea of how many comic books these people have to their credit okay george rosos 
uh, from one of the comic book databases, okay, he has 1,952 issues, comic books, credited to him, right? Incredible. He was active from 1940 to the 1980s, okay? He also went by the name of George Bell, and he was one of the primary Silver Age inkers for Jack Kirby's uh, pencils, right? So he did a lot of work for Marvel and stuff like this. Beautiful, beautiful. And let me read you a little bit, a uh, little bit uh, of, uh, of a thing I found out. Uh, just uh, this is a little excerpt from, uh, let me give you a closer up of this. Little excerpt of, uh, that I found on Wiki, right? And here, let's, let's look at this panel. This was beautiful, the opening one, right? Sitting by the fire. What does this say? Let's read this guy. Uh, something had to give when the sport, uh, sport who loved hunting and fishing and the open sky met the girl from the great outdoors. Look at that. What a romantic night, Wally. Isn't it nice to sit before the fire like, like this together? Yeah. On a night like this, the gitfish are running like murder. Boy, I sure would like to be out in, out in a boat now, pulling them in. Really, sitting by the fire. Nice romantic setting, and you want to be on a boat pulling fish. I doubt it. Maybe it does. Look at this. Look at this. Crazy, crazy. Now, here's a little excerpt I found uh, on Wiki. Uh, let me just read it to you. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Now, he's done a lot of work for EC Comics as well and numerous other publishers, right? Uh, Bob Kane and Bill Finger hired him to assist Inker Jerry Robertson on Batman stories. So, George Russos was hired by Bob Kane and Bill, Phil, Bill Finger, the creators of Batman, to do uh, some of the Batman stories. Russo's duties okay, included drawing backgrounds, inking and lettering, starting as early as Batman number two, summer of 1940. Wow, 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 right? The person who did this was working on Batman number two from 1940, and this thing is from 1952, right? One of the comic's most famous covers, ready? Okay. The Avengers number four from 1964, penciled by Jack Kirby and ink by Russo, Russo's, right? So he also worked, and we're talking about the cover of, uh, with Captain America coming back from the golden age, right? With his, you know, with the classic Jack Kirby cover. Uh, with the pencils and Russo did the inking for it. Russo did the inking for it. Right? Here's another story. Okay, this is another six pager by Mort Meskin. And Mort Meskin did the layouts for the previous uh, one by Russo, right? Now, Mort Meskin has 393 issues to his credit. Okay, and beautiful work just a lot of detail and the facial expressions uh, are huge from the golden age of comics okay beautiful beautiful and he was mainly uh, around uh, Menskin was around in golden age and up to the silver age of comics and he did some work in the silver age of comics as well right beautiful beautiful Very nice. Ah, ends with a beautiful kiss. Right. Awesome. Happy love stories. Not bad, not bad. Right. And uh, Joe Simon, uh, Jack Kirby's partner, that co-created Captain America. He worked at Timely. Timely was sort of the precursor to Marvel Comics and stuff like this. He's been credited with 447 
issues in one of the comic book databases that we saw that I looked at right so right now together okay the three care the three people that we've talked about so far the creators that have worked on this uh, together they have about you know 3,000 comic books in their name right to give you an idea how huge Jack Kirby is Jack Kirby alone has been credited with three over 3,000 issues books that he's published that he's created okay so Jack Kirby is the king and that is the reason why we're going to read the first issue okay the first story of this right now this one is called the house of your dreams and this is by John uh, Prentice and John Prentice I couldn't find too much info on he's only been credited with 81 issues right so I'm guessing uh, he must have moved on to a different career back in the golden age of comics right something that paid more house of your dreams you can look now darling here it is the model of the new manor house our castle castle in the country made uh, made and mortgaged for the two of us oh Ned, it must be beautiful i'm so excited almost terrified <laughs> i'm not so about to take his first look at heaven now take a look at the the bubble what she's imagining right house with pillars and stuff like this <laughs> the house the model house that her lover her partner her husband whoever he is is holding up right i hope she's not disappointed when she opens her eyes cute take a look and here's a white picket fence and they're driving up i would love to have one of these cars preferably electric right turn right to happy acres oh my oh my cute oh look at the spider webs on there in the house they're in love they don't care oh she's working away fixing up the house oh no she put paint on his jacket oh oh and she's crying working in the yard fixing up the yard look at that right. oh no the plumbing's shot Look at him moping down there. Cute, cute, cute. But they're in love. Oh, they got a little dog. Or a big dog, I guess. Cool. Brighten up the home, I guess. Right. Awesome. Now, a lot of these romance comics from the Golden Age, they sort of uh, went, uh, unfortunately, a lot of them, a lot of the companies that were producing a lot of romance comics went bankrupt because of the Golden Age, uh, because of the comic code that kicked in. Okay. Oh, wow, look at this. What's this? How he proposed. Oh, my. And this is a one pager okay and this is done by george russos again okay should we read this one let's read this one it's a one pager i believe it's a one pager it could be a two pager no it's a one pager so let's have a read through this one All right the doctor had a case on the uh, case on the nurse but that was as far as it went uh, then the complications set in and nurse Edith had to go out on an emergency case 
and that was how he proposed. Okay. I met uh, Roger when he inter uh, interned in the same hospital where I took nursing, writes Edith. Our love bloomed, but even after we graduated, nothing more tangible occurred. Another couple of years at this hospital, Edith, Edith, and I'll and I'll be ready. Oh, he's talking. I'm reading as if it's a sort of a story. Uh, so the husband or the doctor, what's his name? Roger is talking. Another couple of years at this hospital, Edith, and I'll be ready to enter practice. Then we can be serious about each other. No, oh my, he's totally dragging her along. Edith, what's wrong? What did I do? Nothing. And that's the trouble with you, Doc Roger. I I don't think we ought to see each other any longer. I I hope you'll be happy battling your way to the top alone. Right. Yeah. Take a look. She wasn't happy at this at all. I meant it. Edith is writing. I meant it. I wasn't going to wait until Roger had a million dollars and a castle to offer me. I wanted a bungalow for two. Now, I refuse to see him anymore. One day, the regist registry sent me out to a housing development on an emergency. Roger's mother, what's she doing here? I, I must be at the wrong address, I was told. So I'm guessing that's Roger's mother, right? You were told correctly, Edith, dear. Your, patience is, your patient is inside. It was Roger, of course, the handsome faker. My heart faltered, but I stilled my trembling hands with, a, with as uh, professional an air as I could muster. Evidently, you'll live. First, I'll take your temperature. Oh. I'm burning, Edith. My love for you has me in raging fever. By the way, do you er, like this house? I slapped down a payment on it, just in case you want to stay here and be a doctor's wife. What can a girl answer when there are tears of happiness that begin somewhere uh, in a dry, dry throat, I threw away thermos, the thermometer and answered Roger with my lips. Oh my, saucy, saucy indeed. Saucy indeed, All right? For the mature reader, definitely. Prayer is a tremendous, mighty power. Really? Dear friend, are you facing problems of any kind? Wow. So please don't delay. Wow, this is like a mail order praying thing. Let's read this guy. I've never seen one of these before. As advertisements in comics anyway. Are you facing problems of any kind? Are you worried about your health? Are you worried about money troubles or your job? Are you worried about some, one, someone dear to you? Are you worried about your children, your home life, your marriage? Is, is someone dear to you drinking too much? Do you ever get lonely, unhappy, or discouraged? Would you like to have more happiness, success, good fortune in life? If you do have any of these problems or others like them, dear friend, then here's, here's, here's wonderful news, news of a remarkable new way of prayer that is helping thousands of other men and women uh, to glorious new happiness and joy. Whether you have always believed in prayer or not, this remarkable new way bring, may bring a whole new world of happiness and joy to you, and very, very quickly. So don't wait, dear friend. Don't let another minute go by. If you are troubled, worried, or unhappy in any way, 
we invite you to send your name and address with 10 cent coin or stamp so we can rush full information to you by air mail about this remarkable new way of prayer that is helping so many others and may just certainly and quickly help you wow you will surely you will surely bless this day so please don't delay just mail your name address and 10 cent coin or stamp now to life study fellowship box 1503 norton connecticut we will rush this wonderful new message of prayer and faith to you by air mail wow 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 that's a first for us we've never seen a prayer advertisement solid sterling photo ring dollar 98 wow 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 that's expensive this book is 10 cents you could buy 20 of these as far as investing goes that would have been a way better investment <laughs> oh here's black magic awesome what's this right thrilling love letters and as some of these stories that came out in these romance comics there were letters that were sent to the publishers uh, and they were given permission to write a story about them right and there are stuff like that happening online there's one place where you can send them one website uh, that has uh, that's creating sextet sextet uh, that people are sexting each other they send in their stories their sex sex texting and they're making video shorts uh, for those uh, messages the texting messages that they've sent they wanted to share right so this is that sort of along the same lines as what these are right now monthly by popular demand black magic magazine cool true amazing accounts of the strangest stories ever told and again we have stuff like that happening as well right ask your news uh, news dealer to reserve your copy i would have take a look at this one and this should be the last story which is what advice would you have would you have given oh no wait a second this is a two-page story by oh take a look at this it's backwards i wonder if it's backwards upside down and this one is also a two-page story by george russos oh so it's a story looking at what's going on with a love counselor right it's like one of those puzzles and i guess the counselor gives the advice but it's upside down so people can't read it right away they think about it let's read this and then read this okay and there it is reader let's pretend let's check it out and there it is reader let's pretend you are the love counselor what would you decide as an answer to alice's problem then look at nancy hale's advice below is your is yours an agreement let's read her advice okay let's check it out that's cool this is the first time we're doing something like this as well tell him there is no substitute for honesty between a man and a wife ronald would only love you love you love you the more for it and possibly carry hurt and anger the rest of his life for you if you have if he found out by any other means honestly that's good advice Let's read this part too why not and then we'll let our imagination take over right read the following account carefully this story of alice w who ha who has found immeasurable happiness only to fear losing it because of a family secret 
what would you tell her if you were the love counselor to whom she turned honesty in all cases no matter what the what the issue is honesty is the way to go right bargain galore magic loop fishbowl <laughs> yeah. right rings ladies sportex watch right. seven dollars or eight dollars platinum 419 look at these small bust wow 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 look at the pictures <laughs> right classic advertisement style poorly lit picture standing a little bit more sideways shoulders back at another angle nude nude white black blue sizes 28 to 38 right. no pads no pads and this is the last story and this one is by mort meskin okay the person who's done some of the work before as well let's read this title for it sometimes it takes more than love to budge a man into marriage it takes a wonderful gal like baby doll Now keep in mind, this is 1952. I don't know how uh, dominant uh, what the penetration rate was for television in 1952 in the United States, but I'm assuming uh, there were many households that did not have television. They had radios and stuff. So this would have been the form of entertainment they would have, right? Millions of copies of this. and from all accounts the first uh, romance comics that came out right uh, by issue number three they had tripled the print run uh, for uh, young romance uh, with price comics right that's how much the demand was for these love stories And I've actually seen a little bit of the love stories make a comeback recently. I know I mentioned a couple of years ago in one of the comic book videos that there weren't too many love stories around, but it appears uh, that they might be coming back. I hope so. I hope so. Okay. What does the letter say? Check this out at the end. Darling Betty, I miss you very much. And there is something that I, I'm assuming says something something I want to ask you I guess it's marriage eh? <laughs> wow look at these Miss Lee fashion look at that get a dress for eight dollars for ten dollars for eleven dollars you can send them the sizes they have all the different sizes gorgeous dresses for you without paying one cent really mothers housewives here's an amazing new plan look at that cool wow now reduce tummy measurement up to four inches instantly or pay nothing and they have a little star there where's a the little star go check that out so a disclaimer where is their disclaimer <laughs> take a look at this the little disclaimer goes way down here it says according to your anatom anatom anatomical structure up here you see cool it's fabulous most amazing foundation ever made featuring brevi the new miracle tummy thinner like that picture she's pushing her stomach out and then she puts the 
this whatever it's called miracle coffee tummy brevi brevi the new miracle tummy thinner and then her stomach looks and pops in all right crazy what's the back stuff and the back stuff is like things you can order right guitar premium uh given premium cash boys and girls ladies act now mail coupon we are reliable our fifth 36 year 36 years premium cash so i guess they buy them it's almost like a pawn shop right look at that cool cool should we have a read through the first story b my Valentine by Jack Kirby. Right. There's a little bit of. Fix that up. Right. A little bit of bend there. Fix that up. Right. Let's see. Let's read the little bottom part the way we always do. Right. Let's bring it up so it's too small. I don't think you'll be able to read it, but let me have a read through this. So this is volume number four, number one. Okay. March 1952. Young Love is published monthly by Crestwood Publications Company, Incorporated. 8 Lord Street, Buffalo, New York. Editorial Office, 1790 Broadway, New York. 19 new york single copy 10 cents subscription dollar 20 12 issues re-entered a second class matter july 22nd 1949 at the post office at buffalo new york under the act under the act of march 3rd 1879 the stories in this magazine magazine are true wow but the names and places have been changed and should not be identified with any actual persons living or dead. No responsibility is assumed for unsolicited manuscripts. Uh, entire content copyrighted 1951 by Crestwood Publishing Company Incorporated. Right? So the stories in this are true. Printed in the USA. And again, the artwork for this is done by Jack Kirby. That we know. We don't know who did the script for it or the inks. Uh, some places were saying that the script and the inks were also done by Jack Kirby, but the script could be uh, done by Joe Simon as well. I uh, found one place that was mentioning that Joe Simon was a contributor to this, right? And this is produced by Simon and Kirby, right? The people that brought us Captain America, plus many, many, many other uh, uh, Ma Marvel's mainly superhero line of characters, right? Especially, especially Jack Kirby, right? He's the king of comics, the person that came up with many of our loved characters. Okay. This is just a. This is just a bit of a pasteboard, edged into lace, but in mischievous hands, it can cause great havoc. Well, we'll let you in on a little secret. This paper heart has been tampered with, and it's being mailed, mailed to the wrong party. You know what it will say to her? Be my valentine. What does that say? To miss, to miss something. I can't make that out. Okay. What does the mailman say? Here's the mail, miss. Looks like some lovesick young uh, scalawag has sent you a valentine. Gosh, 
I can't imagine who it's from, she says. She's in her robe, I think. Let's take a look. When that card came in the mail that Valentine's Day, I received it with mixed feelings. Written on it was sentimental verse and the name of a man. It was a name that made me cry. Scott, Scott, good grief, Guinea. Is that you crying? Ginny, G-I-N-N-Y, Ginny. Try to pronounce the names correctly. Let's take a look. You couldn't really blame me for crying. The world made me had had been an empty place since the day Scott and I had fallen out. And this sentimental bit of pasteboard and lace reopened the crypt where my love pain and other discarded memories were buried Ginny honey stop it I thought you'd gotten over Scott oh she's sobbing right. crying over his picture won't bring him back oh so that's it a valentine why that impotent young scoundrel she said Mom, don't say that. I, I know what you think, that I'll be hurt again, but I've got to risk it. I'm going to see Scott. You'd be a fool. Scott's engaged to Ruth Nicholas. He had no right to send you that valentine. I know, Mother, but don't you see? Scott and I broke up because we were both stubborn. Neither would concede to the other, but he must still love me i've got to go to him she says despite further protests from mother i went to see scott pride in hand and heart upon my sleeve why why genie scott i came in came in answer to this she's got the little card the heart in her hand. Oh, Scott, I've been such a stubborn idiot. Your Valentine has given me the chance I waited for to see you again. That's fine, Ginny, but he says, whenever there is a but. Darling, darling, how wonderful it is to be able to say that word. I love you, Scott. Somehow I knew you still cared. Well, what a touching little scene from the third act of Old Hearts Reclaim, No Doubt. Oh my, I guess that's her, his fiance, right? I didn't expect to see Ruth Nicholas. She and I had once been good friends. That is until Scott took up with her after a flare-up. It's happened, hasn't it, Scott? In again with the old, out with the new. You could have given me a few days' notice, Scott. Whoa, hold it, Ruth. Give me a chance to gather my wits. Don't leave, Scott said. This is all wrong. I'm all mixed up. Ruth and I are engaged. You must have heard. I know, Scott. She must be hurt, seeing us together again, reconciled. <laughs> reconciled? But Ginny, you don't understand. Wait. It won't be right, darling. You must tell her yourself. I'll meet you at eight. You know the spot. 
No, my. I should have been happy, but I wasn't. The situation disturbed me. Scott in the flesh fell short of Scott in the Valentine. It didn't make sense. At eight, I found out why. Scott, you remembered the place. Look, Ginny, we've got to talk. There's been an embarrassing mistake, he says. You see, I never sent you a Valentine. It was just someone's idea of being funny. Oh, no. Funny? Oh, Scott, you don't mean what you're saying. You, you did send it, didn't you? Poor girl. No, Ginny, I didn't. This thing is as shocking to me as it must be to you. You can understand how this places me with Ruth. I've asked her to meet me here. You want me to help you explain? Of course. I tried to tell you this afternoon when I realized what had happened, but I couldn't. I know what it must have cost you to humble yourself he says it's all right scott i believe i can get over you over you now here comes your girl i'll tell her the the truth after you've kissed her hello oh my i wanted to turn away i wanted to end it clearly once and for all but i ached and yearned for scott for so long my love had grown to outrageous uh, proportions i couldn't help the outrageous impulse i'll say goodbye the same way what again she's kissing him big leg wow this is too much scott insult on injury surely you didn't ask me down to see this did you please ruth it's all my fault won't you listen wow what i've seen speaks for itself however i'm not a vindictive person i'm only too willing to do the sporting thing oh be yourself ruth you know i won't i wouldn't I am myself for the first time in a year I haven't enjoyed being a substitute sweetheart Scott may you both be very happy goodbye Ruth Ruth you must let me explain she says she's storming away let her go Ginny she was only too willing to do the sporting thing. I suppose it's what she wanted. I've really devastated your love life, haven't I? She says. It's possible that you may have improved it. You know, that kiss had real zing. I think it jolted a lot of old wheels into motion. <laughs> Strange. The very same thing happened to me. When I received the Valentine, she says. Ginny, let's go into Tony's restaurant where we can both write. I've been a stubborn idiot on the tablecloth 500 times. Somehow, we never quite, quite got around to that chore. Instead, we ate a good deal of Tony's excellent spaghetti and dance to the dreamy music of the jukebox nice we came so close to losing each other forever i'll never let you go again genie just try to get rid of me he says uh, let's take a look scott and i were more in love than ever our love was the one thing that counteracted the occasional disquieting thoughts i had about ruth 
it seems that wedding invitations invitations from fake valentines grow i wonder if ruth would care for that sentiment i lived in a golden world of happiness but i couldn't manage to shake off that guilty feeling about ruth the prospect of meeting her made me uneasy but in a small town like ours it had to happen scott genie how nice did did you kids know dave hall oh she's got a new boy they're both dressed in blue different color hat <laughs> never had the pleasure hi dave they get introduced Ruth didn't seem unhappy, but she did want to talk. It was she who suggested that. We joined them, and it was Ruth who led the way to the powder room later. Ruth, I want to talk to you. Jeannie, I want to talk to you. Oh, I think there's some stuff going to be coming out. The tension broke with that exchange, and we laughed spontaneously. A warm air a friendship form between us then you won't hate me for what happened i wouldn't blame any girl for going after scott i did but i didn't i'd been too late at least i'd always felt that way she says You were there before me, Jeannie, and I took Scott on the rebound. I was sorry later because I could never keep from wondering whether his love for you had really died. Things might have turned out differently if you'd, you hadn't doubted him, she says. I don't mind things as they are. I found Dave Hall and I couldn't be happier. We're going steady. Ruth, how wonderful. I'm so glad for, for you both. All seemed right with the world when Scott saw me home that night. My heart was free and unfettered. The ghost had fled and the moon was full, of, full and bright. Dave Hall told me about himself and Ruth I'm very pleased it means she can forget me ah, that's what he's saying so the boys were talking while the girls were talking right conceited oaf I suppose you think you're a special character she says you know I am you lucky wench oh <laughs> you know I am you lucky wench just think if some wise wiseacre hadn't sent you a phony valentine you may not have been in my arms this minute whoever wrote that valentine sure knew how to stir up an old romance you will admit she says i could have told him but i let sleeping sleeping dogs lie i wonder what scott would have said if he knew that i had sent that valentine myself oh wow what tricky she was playing oh my until we read this i thought maybe it was her mom or maybe it was uh what's her name i forget <laughs> ruth right maybe it was ruth testing out her love with him or her mom trying to get her daughter to go after her love one more time she sent it herself wow 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 cool story tricky tricky right fantastic fantastic great golden age romance comic and in the description i was looking the stuff up i believe it was on in my comic shop they have a database there they're saying this guy uh sort of a lookalike for a young robert redford but when i look at it i don't think it is i don't think it is 
fantastic story. Nice read, nice read. Okay. And thank you very much again, Nicholas, for uh, contributing for us to be able to get this comic book, to have a read through it. And we will be reading a couple more from this hall as well. Okay. I hope you enjoy it. Nice romance comic. And we're going to do one more uh, in the next video. Uh, read the next story. Okay. By Wally Wood. Right. That's it for now, gang. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.